Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus, and welcome to another episode about Arnold's Light Filters. In this tutorial, we are going to go over a Arnold tool that is only found in our lights, and it's called the Light Decay. So let's go ahead and get started. And let's add another one, which is called Light Decay. Light Decay, start here, double click, uses uh, near attenuation and uh, far attenuation. So let me move my camera back to double click and light decay and let's use uh, near attenuation. So near attenuation when we start dragging, whoops, there it goes. Um, it's a little hard to see because there's no fog on the light. Um, so let me show you what that looks like with fog. I'm going to stop the render and I'm going to go to my render settings very quickly under Arnold there's environment and uh, we want to use right, let's do our volume increase the density there we go whoa it's too much but uh, so now we have fog and I think it will help see the attenuation when we play around with it so under light decay you double click on that and if I start dragging this near attenuation you're gonna notice that the light I can by using values I can actually control when the light starts so instead of starting right there at the light source I can actually tell it to um, tell it to start a little lower for example and as you can see by start increasing these values notice that the light seems to be disappearing what's happening is that the light source is actually coming from lower and then eventually you can just make it go away. So this is a really great way if you want to try to animate this, you can actually just kind of get the light to slowly vanish from start to end. The end attenuation just means where do you want the light to, um, this is the near one, so it's basically near the light. If I zoom out, so if we look at the far attenuation, notice that it disappears. If I do a far start or far end, you see, this is probably the one that makes the biggest impact. It basically means that is the light coming from here and spreading out. So this would be a really cool way of kind of like revealing a character. Ba -da -da -da! Something like that. Um, and then you have the far start. Do you want it? This is where you kind of get to blur it a little bit. So by mixing these two, you can get some really nice impact. So you either can use near attenuation, which means that uh, do you want the light to be seen coming from the source? something like that. Notice that you no longer get to see exactly where that area light is. It just kind of uh, brings it. Or do you want to use far attenuation, which kind of reveals everybody or not use any of them at all. And then you get the default back. So again, it, it's uh, Arnold is trying to give you as much control as possible over your light source so that you get to uh, create beautiful art without any type of limitations. Um, again, it's very powerful. It's really a lot of fun. And, um, um, you should definitely ha explore the possibilities of what Arnold has for you guys. All right, I hope that was helpful. That was a quick tutorial on how to use light decay. If you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh, please go to academicphoenixplus.com for free downloads as well as ebooks and all sorts of wonderful resources. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you again, and I will see you next time.